Fresh and cheap. Very popular. Best seller. Hokkaido ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Hokkaido ice cream. He is the king of discounts in Japan. Charismatic and candid, Takao Yasuda showed me around the first store he built in Singapore. This is all shabu shabu. Yoni, usubi ni yoshite orimasu. Sushi, yeah, sushi. Of course, fresh. Made in Japan. Put it by Japanese. All Japan. Yasuda is a contrarian, a maverick with a sense of humor. My favorite music is the sound of the cash registers. <laughs> Yasuda san, what is it about your stores that keeps the crowds coming in? Customers can't see everything in the store in just one visit. We try to make the store such that customers feel as if they've missed something out, or they could have found something else if they'd stayed. That's why customers keep coming back. What's the most outrageous thing you sell in your stores? For example, in Japan, we stock up the widest selection of cosplay clothes in the world. For a discount store like us, we're the only one with the most selection of cosplay fashion in the world. There are many items like that in our stores. We focus on particular items and try to compete with other stores based on the assortment and price. That's our strategy. From cosplay outfits to sweet potatoes, a shopper can get lost in this jungle. In this store, 1,400 square meters of tightly packed aisles, stocked with things quirky, bold, and unexpected. Oh, back scratcher! Oh, it's a back scratcher. And you even sell Pokemons as well? Yeah, yes, Pokemon. Pokemon, yes, yes, Pokemon. Different types of Pokemon? Uh, yes, Pokemon toys. Yasuda-san, hey. is it intentional that your stores are like a maze and it's so chaotic that people can get lost in it? We intentionally make the stores such that it's not easy to find items, so that customers can walk around and find something new. Since 1989, Don Quixote, or popularly known as Donkey, has grown into one of the largest retailers in Japan, joining the ranks of heavyweights like Fast Retailing and Seven and I, so making Yasuda one of the richest billionaires Donkey in the country, uh, with a net worth of over two billion US dollars. Since the company started 30 years ago, we've been enjoying increasing sales and profit every year. This despite the fact that the retail and distribution industries in Japan have not grown in value over the past 30 years. He opened his first Don Quixote store in Fuchu, Tokyo. We are obviously a discount store, so unless we sell our products at a low price, we are not really living up to our mission. So that's why we have been proving that we can buy low and sell low and still make profits for the past 30 years. What are your margins like? Of course, margins differ greatly from product to product, but on average, I would say our margin is 24 to 25 percent. But the founder says the company's bigger driving force is treating each store as an individual business. We're not a general chain store and we don't follow that concept. While most retailers in Japan and in the world follow the chain store theory, we don't. For us, we give authority to individual stores and treat each store independently, so that the store managers can do whatever they want. They're given authority, sovereignty, so to speak. So that's a very different approach to retail. The son of a teacher and a housewife, Yasuda graduated with a law degree from Keio University in Tokyo. But he chose the business path instead. There wasn't a lot I could do. I didn't have particular skills. I didn't excel in anything compared to other people. If I'd wanted to start an F&B store, I didn't know how to cook. I didn't have a science or technology background either. So after eliminating these options, I'm left with selling merchandise.
You didn't want to become a lawyer? I didn't because I didn't really like to study in school. Defying industry trends, the group expanded to over 690 stores, including mega stores, smaller specialty shops, and home DIY outlets. Sales hit 12 billion US dollars in the financial year ending June 2019. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.